All right. So Arlene, Nana Bojo, so Chiblo Dishnikaz, Ogama and Indigo, Chapindodum, Kitagonzi being um Indunjiba, Anishnabi, Ojibwe and Dao, Kitagonzi be in the Nokum, Anishnabe, Aki in Dunjiba. Um, my English name is Sue Chiblo, and today I'm going to be talking uh about Anishnabe Kwayok Nibi Geek and Doslin, which is our water knowledge, and <clears throat> just sharing some of the knowledge that I have gained because this knowledge that I'm going to be sharing is not mine. It comes from many, many people and it also comes from ceremony. So in today's current water governance, there's a lack of gender balance. Currently, Canadian Water Act's regulations policies are all built on a colonial worldview of water as a resource. We all know that without water, all life would perish. Anishinaabek Gikendaswan Min tells us that water is life, water is sacred, Water is medicine, water contains knowledge, and water is alive with spirit. We are all connected to water through each other, through the plants, through the animals, through the birds, through all life. Women are the water carriers. They carry the birth water to bring forth life, just like how spring rushes in waters to bring forth life. Women carry the voice of water as a responsibility. There are Anishinaabek laws that govern our relationships to the water, and Nokum is Gizis, which is the moon, regulates the water. She's the only one that has the power to move entire oceans. So with this, women have a unique connection to Nokum is Gizis through the cycles that we both go through. And Ishnabek Kweok, knowledge and relationships with Nokum is Gizis can be used to generate the well-being of Nibi and all humanity. We need to approach Nibi with humility and recognize that there are forces at play that are much larger than just humans. We need to approach our relationships with Nibi not as managers and governors, but embrace our roles as coexisting with Nibi by engaging in a set of recipro uh, relationships that law can and has guided in, in the past with the Anishinaabek people. When women are involved in forming, Nibi, in forming Nibi policy, they can influence the vision and objectives as well as the decision-making and Nibi governance in ways that strengthen humanity's relationships to Nibi. Right now, there needs to be a significant shift to reorientate public and government attitudes towards water, as water is not actually a resource. So when we look at how we're going to do that, um, we can, there are so many scholarly articles, um, Jules Fee, Van Dam and Baugh's water walks, there's a lot of information out there and that responsibility isn't necessarily relies on the Anishinaabek people. Um, it's also a responsibility of the public to take and learn and understand because in order for us to work together in this worldview that we have compared to the Western science worldview, uh, we really need to truly understand who we are and um, how, how we think so that we can actually begin to work together. Oh, big watch. <laughs> 